What's up, YouTube? It's me, Jefferson Chow. And Brittany Foot. We're back at you live. Well, kind of live. We, we're driving and we're getting it down today. We're not going to let rain stop us this time. Last week, you know, the wind blew. Stopped me and Brittany from trying to do our thing. But this week, we ain't stopping. This is another talk of Restaurant Critic. And it is not raining, as you can see in the back there. Um... It, we're actually not even moving. The car's not even on. But that's relevant. You can continue. Well, it was raining just a second ago. We were in, we'll see the footage. We were in some heavy rain. But we really wanted to eat some ramen. We really want some soup. That was the vote. And we, I'm not feeling well. <coughs> she's dying. She's dying. We're praying for her. Hoping that she'll live. But, you know, so... We wanted to go get some soup and ramen, and it was all the way in Stark and 12th in downtown Portland. Now, if you've ever drove in downtown Portland, you would know that you need a miracle just to drive down downtown Portland. And just to park, you pray to God that you don't get smashed by another vehicle. So, we went to Boxer Ramen in Stark and 12 and when we got there we got there before the lunch rush so we got a seat really really good actually like quick um we never actually had ramen in America uh, me and Brittany were talking about how Japanese has a different style of ramen so we've been in this quest beyond this video to find some ramen so today we actually found it and we went there and when you walk in, you can tell that the restaurant was really small and compact. Um, they try to keep up with the theme of a Japanese theme. But when you look on the art, it was kind of funny and unique. Um, do you want to talk some about that? Um, you can tell they're trying to like add some sort of Japanese culture into the place while also making it their own. That's why it was very like American modern, but there was like Asian inspired art on the wall, like anime looking characters that they were drawing and stuff. And um, it was nice overall, but it was American modern because there were, it was, um, it didn't really, the way the place was set up, it didn't really work for the style of food that it was. Um, usually like the, they, I, we didn't think they maximized the space right like they should have had like a bar in the front for people like sit at like stools and just you know eat and then leave because first of all their menu was super small it was like four different types of ramen and drinks and that was like it so people are typically going there eating and then like dipping out so the fact that they only had like a few um tables and people were sitting there for like 30 minutes or more at a time, everybody else, because this place is small and people can't wait inside, people were standing outside, like in the rain, waiting minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes, almost to an hour waiting for us to get out of the place so they can come in. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't really maximize the space right. And these people that were waiting outside were like, they weren't necessarily friend groups. Some of them were just people just chilling, waiting to go in. So if they would have had a bar set up, people can go individually, it would have been fine. Right. Jeff was saying he saw people, um, who didn't even know each other sitting almost at the same table because the the, pe the the people that were sitting them were putting them right next to each other at like the same table because there wasn't enough space mm -hmm. for people going by themselves that sit by themselves and that was like a little weird um sure they probably made some new friends or something but like it just wasn't maximizing the space right but um i had high standards living in japan before having like real ramen and stuff and so i was like really excited to try it and um it was good in its own right I wouldn't have called it like straight up this is <coughs> Japanese ramen this is what it was like in Japan it wasn't like that it was good in its own Americanized version um, Portland hipster version of ramen it was good Man. oh yeah the noodles were kind of different over type overcooked slimy but it wasn't like how oh, Japanese noodles they're really thin you know, they're cooked perfectly they take the time mm -hmm. Even though Japanese is a Japan is a fast growing pace um, country, but they know how to perfect their cooking. But the point of all this was that sometimes when we go to church, when we feel sick, when we feel like we're weary, or we just don't feel like it, we just make a reason, you know. 
and make a reason to be like, oh, we, we don't want to go to church today because I'm just not feeling it, you know? And that's what I saw today because we talk about culture. We talk about leadership overthrowing the culture. We have talked about a lot of things, but we haven't talked about how sometimes we ourselves don't want to go to church, you know? Um, me and Brittany were thinking, hey, you know, it's raining, it's pouring. Why should we drive all the way to downtown Portland to get some noodles? We can go. We're, we're on 68 in the division. We can go to Fubon over here and eat some sushi, sushi or pho or pho, whatever you want to call it. We could have ate there. But we chose a destination to where we wanted to go. And we're like, you know what? We're going to do it. You know, and even though sometimes you don't want to drive that that far we we need to you know and that's how church is sometimes that we ourselves are not feeling it but we need to do it because sometimes like when we got to the restaurant it was worth it because the soup made us feel really warm it comforted us i mean we did complain about the noodles a little but overall we thought it was a really it was, good it was good it, it was time. good yeah so sometimes we just need that we need to take that distance to go to where we need no matter what it is so we can get fulfilled mm -hmm. and that's how it is when you go to somewhere that you really want like us going to a ramen noodle shop and just to let you know we took david to and he was squirming like a little girl inside of his heart uh he was talking about how this cartoon named naruto and how he always wanted to be like that going to a ramen shop so you know some yeah sometimes it's like that you know we might not want to go but that person behind us might want to go and that's how church is too sometimes if we were a parent and we're like yeah hey, i don't feel like it but my son might inside be like i really wanted to go to church that day because i wanted to learn something that would fill me or something that emotionally is bugging them that might save me um, but yeah that that's what i i really felt today that as we were going there that even though it rained, even though we were frustrated, even though that we were kind of gloomy in a way, like, ah, I don't really want to drive down there, we still went, you know, because we wanted to finally try something that we never got to do. And that's how church is, too. Do you, do you got anything to add to that? No, I agree with everything with, um, you were saying. You kind of hit it on the head. Um, we had our own expectations that we brought to the table about what it should and should not be. And we went there and we were actually surprised that it wasn't what you were expecting, but it was still good in its own right. And the same thing applies to church where we, especially going to a new church, um, you bring all your expectations to the table, um, thinking that it better live up to this standard because if it's not, and I'm not going, it's going to be bad. And then you go and you're actually pleasantly surprised that it wasn't what you were expecting, but it was still really good um, because God can exist in both what you know and in someone else's experience. The same thing with ramen. Like you can have Japanese ramen in Japan and have ramen that's like extremely Portlandized, but it can still be good in its own right. And it's still ramen. Um, and the same thing applies for church. All right, so that's all for this week, guys. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.